Power View is not limited to static tabular and chart layouts. You can use it to create animated views. In this example, I'm going to show you how you can use Power View to track the salesperson performance over time. Since we don't have space on the uh, first view, uh, sales by country view, I'm going to create a new view. A Power View report can have many views, just like a PowerPoint presentation can have many slides. So I'm going to go and click New View, and I'm going to name this view uh, Salesperson Performance. All right, and let's go and uh, uncheck the filter area to have more space on the report. In the reseller sales table, let's go ahead and check the uh, sales amount field. As you know, Power Pivot is going to default to uh, tabular visualization. But for this uh, view, uh, what I really need is a scatter chart visualization because I want to see the correlation. Scatter charts are very useful for seeing the correlations between uh, two uh, variables. In this case, my first variable is going to be the sales amount, and my second variable is going to be the uh, salesperson KPI target. So I want to see the correlation, I want to track the correlation between the actual sales of the salesperson and its target, his target. All right, uh, we can optionally uh, use, have a field that controls the size of the, the bubble. And in this table, I have a net profit column, which I can use for this person. In other words, the more profit this salesperson has generated, the larger his bubble is going to be. And also what I can do is to use another field to specify the details of the bubble. And in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the employee table and I'm going to use the full name. In other words, I want to see next to each bubble the salesperson, uh, salesperson name. And finally, to make this uh, interactive, I'm going to go to the date dimension and I'm going to add the calendar year to the play axis. So essentially, I'll be able to play this visualization uh, in time and to see how the salesperson performance changes over years. That's it. So now we can have fun with data. We can click on the uh, calendar year uh, on the play button here and we can see what happens in time. You know, So we can see that uh, the sales increase, it looks like pretty much all salespersons are doing better and better over time. But with so many sales uh, people plotted on the chart, it might be difficult to uh, spot a particular person. Uh, luckily, a Power View supports tracking feature. So for example, if I'm interested only in uh, Julian Carson's uh, sales, I can click on, on her, on her bubble, and then I can see how her sales progress over time. Or if you want to play this, now I can see her clearly. Uh, I can see, I can see, I can see her bubble highlighted. All right. Well, that was about uh, Power View interactive features. As you can see, you can have a lot of fun with the data by having this uh, nice reports. And the good thing about it is that even if you export this report to uh, PowerPoint, you know, these visualization options are still going to be available and your users will be able actually to play this inside a nice uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation.